Hi, I'm uh, Rich Simpkins. I'm the manager of sustainable design projects at Heapy Engineering. LEED is a uh, third party verification of green and sustainable design um, processes. Uh, it's administered by the United States Green Building Council, the USGBC, and it's just a scorecard to verify that you are doing the green stuff that you say you are in your project. Well, uh, you know, obviously you've heard a lot about the, uh, the environment and the uh, carbon footprints and things like that. Regardless of your stance on that, it's just a good way to uh, manage your resources and make sure that the areas you're, you're involved with uh, aren't harmed by your being there. And with uh, LEED, it helps not only uh, verify that when you build your building, you're not endangering the environment in any way, but the products you use don't endanger the environment in any way. And it's uh, the products you use are mindful of the resources, such as water and air. And then after you're in, you occupy your lead building or your sustainable building, that the indoor air quality is high, and therefore you don't have issues with um, allergies or um, flus and stuff like that. You just sort of, a lot healthier place to be and live. Well, Ashford Park has targeted a platinum level LEED certification, which is the highest available through the USGBC. And uh, LEED being internationally accepted as the uh, standard for LEED or for green and sustainable construction, platinum is a huge um, goal to set. So, therefore, we had to take on a lot of the items that most people just write off as uh, not doable. Things like we've discussed are gray water systems for irrigation. Uh, obviously the windmills are there. Uh, we chose windmills over solar because just the maintenance alone of the solars and, and the size of the towers would just would be prohibitive. Um, obviously the high, uh, high efficiency air conditioning and heating systems inside the building will be um, as, as good as you can get at the time. Uh, they will be high indoor air quality to increase the, in, the interior environment. Uh, there will be low flow fixtures in the, in the restrooms. Um, dual flush toilets, therefore, uh, you know, you only use the amount of water you need for at the time. Uh, we will be using Energy Star appliances we've looked into to lower energy. Um, we are looking at uh, customizable uh, automatic lighting controls to make sure that, you know, the lights are on only when you need them and that uh, lower your, your energy rates that way as well. The geothermal is a way to use the, uh, the earth as a heat sink. Um, your typical heat pump is a uh, air to air. What we're gonna use is uh, air to water and what we do is we eject the heat into the ground um, during the uh, cooling seasons and we eject the cool uh, air into the ground during the heating seasons. The ground is a sustained at 50 degrees uh, C and that change in temperature is easily uh, controlled through the geothermal and the Department of Energy claims that there's a 40% savings in energy just in that system alone. Asher Park is looking at ways to mitigate uh, rainwater runoff. Uh, as you know, as, as cars and, and vehicles park and go, they, they leave deposits. Um, instead of washing that away, putting it into a stormwater system and pushing it into the uh, local water bodies, what we'll do is we'll um, use these pervious pavements and what it's going to do is percolate that water through the earth and let the earth naturally filter all those contaminants out, same as it would underneath regular situations. And therefore we won't be overtaxing the storm water. We won't be digging up the, uh, the land to put in more infrastructure for storm water management. We'll just use the land for what it has always been and that's uh, for stormwater uh, quantity and quality can control and thereby potentially creating more wetlands for uh, local waterfowl to inhabit as well. Additionally, we're looking at commissioning service which is actually a functional testing of the systems. This building will be a high performance building. We will be using the best equipment around and in order to verify that it's not only designed properly but installed according to the manufacturer's recommendations we'll be uh, implementing a commissioning service. And what we'll do is we'll go in and functionally test, not only during the installation to make sure every 
unit is being installed properly. But after it's all installed, we'll make sure it's all tested and balanced and working the way it's intended to, to work. Well, obviously the energy efficiency will be there as, long, you know, as well as the uh, opportunities for on-site power generation. But the biggest key, I think, for people looking to, to move to Astro Park is going to be just the high quality of, of uh, indoor air environment that you will have in these facilities. Uh, they will be comfortable, controllable, um, and healthy to live in. And I, I believe the uh, statistics shows that the, in the United States, 30% of all buildings suffer from sick building syndrome. And with the qualities of, of the Astro Park, you won't have those issues. These buildings will be healthy in every way. Not to mention well maintained and easy to maintain and it won't, uh, with Ashford Park being uh, near a, a large body of water, uh, resource management is key. And with the implementation of some of the design strategies that we have here, the building will not um, constantly need a whole focus of, of energy and resources. It will actually deteriorate its own uh, need for resources over time as we get more and more uh, involved with the systems. The, I mean everybody says they they have a green building and it's called greenwashing. Um, not everybody does this third-party verification. It's not um, it's just as simple as filling up paperwork. It's a design process from the beginning. I mean it's a holistic approach. It's integrated. Everybody's involved from the beginning. I think people underestimate just the amount of effort and dedication that goes into having the LEED certified building and Ryan's foresight uh, with Centurion Development to, to put Ashford Park on the map with such a certification indicates that his dedication to green and, and sustainability is real. And when you have a team the way we have with this one, what we are dedicated not only about the whole mission statement but the fact that it's something we all believe in, I think you have a lot better design, a lot better uh, construction effort than you would if you hadn't.